going to talk tapeworm. The tapeworm you see hanging out at the back of your cow or your yo or the one you find in the dairy collecting yard is a ruminant tapeworm, Monesia. In terms of causing our animal production, health or welfare issues, the tapeworm are largely non-pathogenic, so they don't cause any issues in our animal. So with that tapeworm, our farm animal is a definitive host, which basically means the tapeworm reaches maturity in our animal. It produces eggs that come out in the dung via segments. They hatch into larvae, and then tiny pasture mites are the intermediate host for this tapeworm. They eat those larvae, and then our cattle or our sheep eat those pasture mites, and the cycle is complete. Yes, a lot of white worm or active ingredients will treat monesia, but again, it's not the be all and end all if we have it. So if you're unsure as to whether you need to treat it, I'd ask my vet. The tapeworm that causes us issue as livestock producers are ones that really cause uh, rejections in the abattoir because of condemned muscle or liver tissue. And in the majority of cases, they're a carnivore tapeworm and likely a dog tapeworm. So in that instance, our dog is the definitive hosts. So eggs are produced from the dog. They pass out onto pasture via segments and our, our animals are the intermediate hosts and they ingest these eggs and then the larvae proliferate inside them and cause damage to the muscle or liver tissue. And in terms of preventing or treating that, there's no intervention or product we can give to these animals to do so. So if you're having lots of carcasses being condemned in the abattoir as a result of tapeworm cysts, you need to look at a proper control strategy for parasites in this guy.